Hello there, my crafty friends. Happy Monday. This is Angie, and you are watching Tutu's Crafty Creations. It is Monday, and as promised, a little bit late today, but I am sharing two fall home decors with you guys. I hope you enjoy. I hope you're all doing well. Had a wonderful weekend. Thank you to my wonderful subscribers. You guys absolutely mean the world to me. You really, really, really do. And if you have not subscribed, please do, please consider, because I really do have some cute projects that I love to share, and I've got plenty more to come. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into it. Project number one. Okay, project supplies are the foil quill pen. My sister got me some black foil paper, a Dollar Tree Halloween sign, paintbrush, Waverly chalk paint and plaster, apple barrel and spiced berry, and some rust-oleum in nutmeg, a wooden turkey DIYer from Dollar Tree, and some twine. All right, to get this one rolling, if you guys know me, if you watched any of my videos, you know that I liked my projects to be complete, so I am going to go ahead and cut off the, or cover the back of this up with some craft paper that was purchased from the Dollar Tree. I'll go ahead and get that smoothed on. Put some um, hot glue gun glue on there. I usually use a glue stick, but I didn't feel like messing with the glitter, so I just glued right over that. Cover it up. There goes some holes in it from the hanger. I'm gonna fill it up with some wood patch. I'm using my little tongue depressor there to get that nice and smooth on there. Sand that off a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and take some white Waverly chalk paint and give it a nice coat kind of not really a thin but a thicker even coat get all this the whole thing make sure to get the edges and had i thought about it you guys i was in a, in a little bit of a hurry and had i thought about it prior i would have waited to put the craft paper until after I had it painted because I did get a little bit of paint on the craft paper, but that's okay. Better than the glitter. Alrighty, and so here we have some turkeys that are from the Dollar Tree, the wooden DIY ones that I'm going to I'm filling in the hole with that wood filler. And I didn't show you guys, but there was a little bit of a little hole left on from one of the holes from the hanger on the sign. So I did put a little extra wood patch on there and here in a sec you'll see me um sanding it off there you go and then get a little paint cover that up make sure it's all even and a little blow dry here my heat gun and here this is my new tool that my sister got me and it is a quill foil or a foil quill fine tip freestyle pen. She got it for me at Michael's in Marin County when I was just up there. And you plug this thing into a USB cord and that little tip, it's a really fine tip and it gets hot. And I was a little concerned at first or worried if I was going to be able to use it with um, the plastic because it is a it does get hot but um, it didn't it, it didn't ruin the stencil at all the stencil was just fine however I wasn't quite pleased with this was the first time that I used it on a project so I uh, went ahead and continued on um, However, for my wordings, I because that thing is such a fine print or a fine tip on it, it just gets the edges. So I pretty much just outlined the lettering. And on here I put happy day, which you will see in a little bit. Happy turkey day. We got gobble gobble coming up. So I did go ahead and use my uh, ruler to put a nice little straight line on here and proceed to 
do the A, D, and the A. I believe right now I'm doing the A. And then I move on to the Y. And again, I should have put the bottom of the Y on the line because it mm, doesn't quite look right. The D and the A are together in the same height. And then the Y is a little bit lower, like it's a lowercase Y. But, you know. Trial and error, first time using my new crafting tool. I, I am very excited to use this, and I will put a link in the bot. And actually, I won't put a link in there. It's from Michaels. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this video out. And there I am, just um, erasing the pencil mark. So it's not visible there anymore. And you see the happy day. And yeah, I'm not thrilled, but it's gonna work. Okay, go ahead and use my Dollar Tree piece of sandpaper and smooth off my turkey. And go ahead and get this nutmeg painter's, what is it called? Painter's Ch Touch by Rustoleum. This was one of my grandma's from her crafting days. She, as I've said before, is 87. She doesn't craft anymore, so she's given me all of her goodies. Couldn't be more pleased. Thank you, Grandma. And I really do love the color of this. It's called Nutmeg. It kind of, like, was um, a little transparent. You'll see in the end. You can still see the wood grain, which I thought was really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take my little heat gun and dry that paint up and I decide that I'm going to go ahead and give this turkey a little life. So I'm taking that pumpkin Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint his little claws, his little talons or turkey feet or whatever you want to call those. <laughs> and I'm going to proceed to do his beak. And I put... Here, a little of the yellow Waverly chalk paint. It's called Mice, but it looks like sunflowers to me. And I just go ahead and kind of blend the orange with the yellow to make it look more realistic. I don't know. Up close, it looks really cute. And I'm sorry that I am a little bit far away, you guys. I am still trying to figure out the correct way or the right way that's going to give you guys good view and still be able to see everything. So this is obviously a little too far away and my apologies. And here I am taking the black pavement by Apple Barrel and just giving this little turkey an eyeball. And then I'm going to take this lacquer by Waverly chalk paint and I don't know why I tried to show you guys because you couldn't see it but I am painting the little gobble gobble on the turkey neck what are those little gobble gobble things called those little red things that dingle if you guys can see me doing that <laughs> okay so anyhow so go ahead and get my little turkey finished up I like the way it looks and then I am going to take my spiced berry from Apple Barrel and I am going to draw little circles and little squiggly lines and make a border around this sign. Didn't have any rhyme or reason. I kind of just did a line, a little squiggly line and a dot and a little squiggly line and a dot. And then once I had that finished, I decided, I'm trying to decide of where I want to place these pumpkins and the gourds and which way do I want them. And it took me a while to figure it out. And eventually, I think that is what I went ahead and went with. And I did try to cover or fill in that happy... in the day but I realized that it was going to be too much 
working too hard and the quill pen was a waste if I had done that. So I just let it be and I fixed, put some more plaster on the part where I tried to cover it up or to make it more prominent looking, stand out more. And there I'm using some wood glue to... <laughs> to get my turkey to stick to my sign and these guys I just went ahead and used the sticker on them and they stuck pretty well I was quite surprised and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some jute cord and make a nice little double hanger die cut tie a couple of knots on the ends of them. I was going to go with the gingham or this black checkered square, but I decided I didn't really like the way that that looked because I didn't really have any other black on here other than the eyeball for the turkey. So, yep, took the jute string and tied it, double it, double stranded it and tied a knot on the each end and glued it to the top. And project one is complete. Snip off those ends, and there you go. And project number two. Okay, so for project two, we are going to be using this nutmeg, painter's touch from my grandma gave me, some old pumpkins, a couple of these. I'm gonna glue together a little crates from the Dollar Tree, a leaf garland from the Dollar Tree, and an assortment of flowers and such from the Dollar Tree. Okay. And floral foam. And that's about it, I believe. Okay, we're going to start by taking the stickers off the bottom of these and using some more of that wood glue to adhere the two ends of these together. I was going to use those little pink clips, but I couldn't get one on the back of it to hold it very well, so it kind of uh, didn't have a good seal, so I went ahead and put some of my uh, painters, the paint on it, and let it dry. So here I am taking some more of that nutmeg. I really do like the coloring of that. And I proceed to paint the whole entire outside except for the bottom because you're not going to see that. And then the inside just at the very top. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my floral foam and get them inside there, cut them off. It's about an inch, inch and a quarter. Then I needed to cut off for both sides of those. We're using a ruler, measure it out, use some glue to put them in, and then go ahead and start with the picks. Go with some sunflowers and some of the... This one here has got like a little broom handle, wispy-ish kind of thing on it with some little berries and a... Um, acorn and then I just put some leaves and some of the little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree in there and yes I realize that you guys can't see this very well and I'm really sorry but you will see it better in the final reveal and again this is my first um, centerpiece so I'm pretty happy with it I could have given you guys a better view of it and showed you a little more along the way and I'm really sorry but I decided that, you know, it wasn't quite what I wanted here. So I go ahead and use some of that wood glue and put the blessed on the front of it. And that really did make the centerpiece look beautiful. And I used the wood for the wood. Wood for wood. Put that right in the center of it. And... This is done, you guys. So cute. So what do you think? I think it turned out pretty good for my first time. 
I will get more practice. So if you guys like what you've seen here today, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Make sure you hit the all so that you get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. And you guys have a safe and wonderful day. And thank you kindly for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Take care, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and comment.